Hi bakers, I want to introduce you to my favorite cookbook, Betty Crocker's Cookie Book. I've been baking out of it for over 35 years. It is my absolute favorite cookbook to bake out of. Every single recipe turns out every time, and they are all delicious. And I highly recommend this cookbook, even though this is vintage, you can still buy it online. And I'm going to start off with my favorite sugar cookie recipe, Martha's Sugar Cookies. It starts with one teaspoon of baking powder. Make sure it's nice and level. I'm going to level off all of the things that I, all the ingredients I use. And then I use one teaspoon of pink Himalayan sea salt. That is my favorite kind of salt. I think it really makes great taste and it's just and it's just not overly salty and finally you need two and a quarter cups of flour for your dry ingredients and you blend those together for the wet ingredients you're going to use half a tablespoon of vanilla bean paste I prefer that to essence or extract I just think it's better and one cup of white granulated sugar and three quarters of a cup of butter room temperature two eggs I also bring those up to room temperature and then you're going to like I said mix all of your dry ingredients together so they're well combined and then you clean your butter your sugar Once you get your sugar and mix on your eggs until they're really well and I'm going to scrape them inside the mixer. But for the videos, I'm doing it with my handheld. Uh, I don't prefer that way. I think the stand mixer mixes better, but you can do it. And then you combine little by little the dry ingredients. And then you're going to refrigerate your dough for half an hour. Roll it out. I like my sugar cookies a little bit on the thick side because I think that keeps them sturdier, makes a better cookie when you're baking. Bake for 8 to 10 minutes at 350. On this sheet, these things spread so much and turned out to be a bit of a disaster, and I'm going to tell you why. When I bake shaped cookies, I actually freeze the cookies after I've cut them right on the sheet in my freezer for five minutes before I put them in the oven. I didn't do this time, that this time, so you could see what would happen, and they spread. If you don't, if you freeze them for five minutes, and it's important when you're cutting out shaped cookies and you want to decorate with them, them with fondant to do that. And I highly it five minutes in the freezer. Once your cookies are nice and cooled, you can decorate them any which way you like. I'm going to have another video on how to make these skull cameos. But as you could see from the previous photo, I also decorate with fondant, sometimes with royal icing, and sometimes just leave them plain when you um, 